What's up, guys? Back with another video today. Iraqi dinar, my favorite thing to talk about, <laughs> only because it's so controversial. And probably about half the people that I talk to on my channel say that it's a good investment, and the other half are it's a scam. So I want to talk about what happened when I took my dinar to the bank. I wanted to see what happened. I did the same type of thing when I took an American Eagle into the bank, and it got good. It, 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 made, it brought up a good topic to talk about to, to see if they knew, if, if the bankers knew what, what American Eagle was. And it, <clears throat> they actually didn't. It was a good video, too. So I figured I'd do the same thing. Let's see if uh, like a teller would know what to do with this dinar. So I go to the bank on Friday, massive long line, finally get up to the front. There was only one girl, and she looked like she had her manager standing next to her. He was kind of helping out. And <clears throat> I walk up, I put the, the, the I, I had it in one big stack. I said, hey, I, I inherited this, and I just want to know what I can do with it. If I can exchange it, where do I got to take it? And she's looking at it, flipping through, and you can tell she has no idea what it is. So she immediately just like kind of just shows it to the guy standing next to her, and he does this like I I would I would just call it like a, a half smile smirk, and takes his finger and does like does like like this like follow me, and doesn't say nothing. I'm like oh okay. So she hands me back my dinar, and he comes around the counter, and we go back where the offices are, where all the chairs are. We go back, sit in one of the chairs, and he goes so. You got roped into the scam. <laughs> I go, well, no, I, I, I inherited it. He goes, oh, good. Yeah, he goes, yeah, don't buy this crap. And he's, he's typing away on his computer, and he spins the monitor toward me, and he brings up, I'll have to show it to you because I brought it up too. I asked him, I said, what's the, what's the website? And he, he told me, and all he did was he put Iraqi dinar scam on his computer and brought this up. Now, this is just, uh, there's many, many, many of these articles on here that talk about how the there's it's a scam and it it's the idea that i've talked about this before the scammers promise that you're gonna get millions of dollars of profit because if you buy the dinar which is about a thousand dinar to one dollar at this exchange right now one day iraqi dinar is going to be worth one to one or three to one what it was worth back in the 80s or something like that and you're going to make you know if you buy a million dinar you're going to have a million dollars well it it, it it's <laughs> and this has been going on for more than 20 years and there's actually a pretty good video on it um i any real investor wall street or you know my accountant knows that you're never going to make any money on this it's 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 a it, it's false. It's it's a scam. You know, the, the Iraqi dinar is not traded on the world market. So I don't really need to go into how I feel or even any of this article. But I do want to answer. Oh, let's go back to the bank. So we talked a little bit about it. And he goes, yeah, this is worthless. You know, he goes, I said, well, I like to say it because it's pretty and it smells good. He goes, oh, yeah, no, yeah, just hold, hang on to it. It's it. uh it's it's a good talking uh, talking piece, did he say? Something like that. But he didn't have much more to say about it. And uh, I was I was at work, so I just grabbed it and left. I actually had I had to run another call or something. But anyways, so I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get and I I love comments. I read every comment, so I'm hoping you know people watch this video and comment on it. But I know what people are gonna say. They're going to say, well, wait till the Iraqi uh, government revalues the money. It's already happened. It's already happened. As of February 7th, 2023, the Iraqi government, based on recommendations from the central bank, revalued the money. And they did it to strengthen the Iraqi dinar against the US dollar and the official exchange rate was set at 1320 dinar to $1 as opposed to 1460. Okay. So that was back in February. So let's think about that. Yeah, February, March, 
April, May, June, July, August, September. That was nine months ago. Let's see how well that's going. So this article was released in August. And it says down here. <laughs> it's funny. Um, it actually, after evaluating at the end of July, it fell further to 1570 So how can you think that this is a good investment? It's ridiculous. Anyone that believes this is just... It's like the uh, when you keep sending money to scammers and you don't want to believe that they're scammers, so you just keep sending them money. That's what this is. It's never going to go anywhere. So I... I, I read this little article right here where it says, as a result of all this, the Iraqi government has chosen to revalue the NAR, yada, 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 with intent. However, as of August, the new policy does not appear to have been successful. So it's a scam. Why would you buy a single dinar from here on out? You know, I used to get a lot of... I did a video on this back in January, and it got, you know, half good reviews... Half bad reviews. And what I mean by good is people were like, it's a scam. The other bad people were saying, oh, no, it's, you're an idiot. I'll buy it. I'll buy it from you. I'll buy it from you. Yeah, people got put in that. And I said, and it, this is a fair. You know, I said, oh, well, I want, I got 300,000 dinars sitting in front of me. I want 150,000. It's a good investment because you're going to get, you're going to make 150,000 on it. But no one takes it because it's not. It's not worth it. You want a good investment? Buy this silver flag. This 10 ounce silver bar. This is a good investment. This is how to protect your money. It's fun to look at. You can still take this to an LCS and get your money back. This, if you try and if you buy this online or you buy this on eBay or whatever, you try and sell it back to them, you're not going to get your money. They're going to be like, no, I'm not. Or they'll give you less. But. No, that's not a good investment. Not a good investment at all. You're better off buying a little Silvertown Halloween bar. Something cool you could look at that actually has value. Not this crap. But, alright, I just wanted to talk about what happened when I took it into the bank. I thought about taking it into the LCS too, but... Uh, there's, no re there's no need to. I, the, the bank was going to give me a better, you know, better answer. Um... I was hoping he was going to say something like, oh, well, you know, to, you, I don't know. I, I really wasn't sure what he was going to say. You know, I'm glad I did it. Um, I'm glad, I, you know, I'm glad that uh, I'm making this video on it. And hopefully you guys comment and like the video. Definitely, if, even if you have something bad to say, put the comment down. I'll read it. You know, call me an idiot. Tell me, uh, you know, I made a bad investment, whatever. You know, I paid... I don't know, 300 bucks for all this dinar or something, but, you know, that was back in 2012. Still hasn't done nothing, and it still won't. <laughs> but again, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a famous YouTuber. So, that's it for the video, and we'll catch you on the next one.